Oh, welcome to Blitz 8, a regional championship edition of Blitz 8 is the regional finals taking place this weekend. In Class A North, Portland and Oxford Hills met up a couple weeks ago up in South Paris with Portland prevailing on the road, but most people thought that they'd have a chance to have a rematch, and we had that rematch tonight in the North A championship game. The winner of this one moving on to face the Scarborough Thornton winner in the State A game next weekend. Jim Hartman's Bulldogs in the regional final for the fifth time in the last six years after a scoreless first quarter Oxford Hills puts a drive together Colton Carson the option pitch Yannick Luska makes the corner and he's in nine yard touchdown run seven nothing Vikings it was a half yard and a splashing puddle for most of this one but the big plays were on the Bulldogs side Zach Elowich breaks right up the gut off to the races 82 yards you're not going to catch him seven seven game End of the second, Oxford Hills at midfield. They get that big arm of Carson, but Capongo sacks him, and that would be the last play of the half. We go to the third. The rain starts in the third. Carson up top finds J.J. Worcester deep into Portland territory. That covers 60 yards, but the big play here, Elwich catches him from behind and saves the touchdown, and that would actually lead to a stop and then a missed field goal, so they keep points off the board. All right, Portland driving in the third. Bulldogs go to the halfback option, but Parker LaFrance blows up the play in the backfield. Alex Turner is there for the interception. Later in the fourth, after converting a second and 29 on a run, Carson up top finds his man Turner for the score. 14-7 Oxford Hills in the fourth. But Portland again the big play at the right time. Ensuing drive, Jamal Moriba, 69-yard touchdown run. 14-14 game. We're headed to overtime. Portland gets the first possession. Elowich Three straight carries on third down. He plows in 21-14. Elowich, 28 carries, 220 yards. Vikings get a turn, but Jonah Green gets in the backfield, blows up the play, causes the fumble and recovers, and Portland closes out Oxford Hills 21-14 in overtime. The Bulldogs move on to face the Thornton Scarborough winner in the state championship game next weekend. You know, three state, cha three state championship games in four years, that's, that's insane. I don't think any Portland High team's ever done that before. It feels amazing. Oh, that was crazy. I mean, we just we had it. We had a thought in the back of our head that we weren't going to lose this game. We were talking about it the whole week, up until during fourth quarter. We were not. We just were going to refuse to lose that game. All right. Did I mention that the weather was a factor tonight? Well, the Northern B final was absent of the top two seeds as it featured number three Brunswick hosting number four Lawrence. Both teams pulled off upsets on the road last week in the semifinals. Brunswick won the regular season matchup 55-28. Tonight's game a far cry from that shootout. Third play from scrimmage. The handoff, Jack Harvey. The Dragons back is gone. 65 yards. Brunswick up 7-0. Looks like we're going to have a shootout because Lawrence had a quick response. Dylan Coombs rolls out, avoids the sack, dumps off to Alex Higgins. 15-yard touchdown. We have a 7-7 game. Next possession for Lawrence, Christian Adams kicks the 32-yard field goal. Bulldogs go up 10-7. Bulldogs driving for more in the second, but the ball fumbled, and Chandler Coombs, who had a lot of big plays on defense last week, another one here, the recovery. Still 10-7 in the fourth, Brunswick deep in their own end. Mitch Liner, they need a play, they get a play from Liner. 47-yard run as he finds the seam, uses the sidelines deep into Lawrence territory. Later, fourth and short, Brunswick's Noah Goddard, the keeper for the first down. Two plays later, Goddard, the touchdown run, Brunswick has the lead. Still time on the clock, Lawrence under two and a half to go. Tyler Nado is there for the interception, and that would clinch it right there. Brunswick 14 to 10 over Lawrence. The Dragons are headed to the state championship game for the fourth time in the last five years. The line played the way it's supposed to be played. We fought, we played, that's all I can say. We played, we came up in the second half. We just, we just came out with a, a fire under our butt, basically. <laughs> we, just, we just came out and executed. All right, quarter of the year candidate right there. Fire in the butt for Brunswick tonight. All right, let's head to D South. The D South region has been Wells' domain since moving down last year. The Warriors on a 26-game win streak entering tonight's regional final with Oak Hill. Oak Hill, though, coming off two impressive victories in overtime on the road. Could they do it again? They're the number seven seed against unbeaten Wells. First play of the game, Gavin Roston, big gain. They've been playing power football behind the sophomore quarterback, but he would leave the game after this play, and that would be a factor. Sam Lindsay takes over, takes the Wells, takes them into the Wells red zone, but the fumble, Ethan Kenny, the recovery, 
Peyton Mac, uh, McKay then went 73 yards on the next play. Tyler Bridge caps the drive after the McKay touchdown. 6-0 game. McKay, the junior, had a big game. Here, he makes a cut. 30-yard touchdown. 14-0 McKay with three touchdowns on the night. Wells wasn't done in the first. Bridge from 12 yards out. All of a sudden, 20 to nothing Warriors. They score so quickly. Start of the second. Lindsey takes Oak Hill on a drive, and he's going to ram it right in. It's a 20 to 6 game. The Raiders with a little bit of hope. Start of the second, or rather, let's go to the other way. It's the Warriors with Bridge, the touchdown run. And then start of the third quarter. Warriors had already scored once in the second half. Bridge, another chance. Touchdown, four TD game for Bridge. Wells pulls away. They'll go to their third straight title game, 54 to six. They win up to face the Bucksport. Foxcroft winner next Friday in Orono. The Warriors going to the state game on a 27 game win streak. Our ability to run the ball in the rain, it doesn't matter the conditions for our running team. So I mean, it feels amazing to go undefeated in the senior season. Like we just gotta finish it off that one more game. I'm so proud because it's, you know what it is, it's hard work. They work so hard to do this, and that and that's what makes me so proud is they're willing to do that work because kids aren't always willing to do put in the work. All right, a great slate of games tomorrow. You'll have to check us out, uh, both uh, Travis Lee uh, on Twitter and on Facebook for some highlights throughout the day. And then after college football, we'll have highlights for you of the regional championships going on tomorrow. We've got Kenny Bunk taking on Marshwood in a rematch. That is at Waterhouse Field, 1230 tomorrow. Levitt hosting... Freiburg in an interesting matchup in Class C South. Freiburg won that game back in the regular season, but the regional final taking place up in Turner tomorrow night, kickoff 6 o'clock. Unless too much rain falls up there, and maybe they'd have to move that game to Lewiston High School at 7 o'clock and Thornton Academy and Scarborough tomorrow. All those highlights of those games. Thanks for joining us for Blitz 8 throughout this great high school football season. Have yourself a great night. Join us back tomorrow for more high school football.